Welcome to the Solid KM University channel. In this video, we'll continue our series of videos on the HSR, HSM constraint boundary options. Here we'll be talking about the tool contact areas. The tool contact areas is a three-dimensional analysis of the part and the tool you selected to see where that tool is actually in contact with those surfaces. Um, and a few things based off the solid will in, inform that constraint boundary. So let's let's take a look at how that works. So I've got my HSM toolpath turned on. I've got my tool contact area selected under created manually. I'll click on new geometry. First, it needs to know what tool I'm using. So I'm going to go and select the tool. And I'll click on that half inch ball mill. So the half inch ball mill, I intend to use the machine only this area right here, this surface. So I'll click on new geometry. And I actually have the ability here to choose either an individual surface or a selection of surfaces or the overall part. I'm actually just gonna do that one surface. So let's go select. I'd like to do that one surface. Click the green check mark. And from the size of that tool, and my contact there is, so in this case, the, the Z top, Z bottom, I'd like it to look at the entire model inside of that one area and the boundary of that surface, and the angles I'd like it to machine. Let's say we just go from zero to 90. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and get it to do everything it can in that constraint boundary. Once I click the green check mark, it actually calculates from the size of that tool and the nearby solid what that constraint area should look like relative to the contact points. So this one tool, if we look at this from the top view, is only really in contact with that surface within this boundary. Because of the fact that it is a half inch ball mill, it actually cannot go too far outside that surface because it will touch that surface right there. That's why it's offset it from the edges there. If we click on show, we'll see that again. So that actually represents the center of the tool. This is using the boundary tool relation of center. This tool can only travel within that boundary on that surface without uh, gouging the outside walls and remaining in constant contact with that surface. So regardless of the uh, HSM technology that I chose, this could be for horizontal machining, this could be for linear, but it basically is analyzing the solid and analyzing that surface and figuring out that with my certain size of end mill or ball mill, I can only stay in contact with that surface within this boundary here. So this is a good way to limit the travel of the tool to get the most effective use out of the tool, to make sure that you're not selecting, over-selecting and, and uh, analyzing the part in your HSM toolpath where all you're really gonna be able to do is this one area anyway. So this is just to make your HSM toolpath a little more efficient. Any questions on this or anything else, you can always call us the main tech line. And for the rest of the options in the HSR and HSM constraint boundary option uh, window, stay tuned to the rest of the videos on this playlist and the overall YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.